strong sunlight. Most of the time we only find them towards the end of the evening. And barred owlets have got to be one of my favorites. And the reason why I like barred owlets so much is because when I worked at Simba Mili, there was a barred owlet pair that used to live in the lodge itself. And when I used to walk from the, the main area towards the rooms and, and go and walk along that path, often I would find these little barred owlets sitting right next to the path itself and they became very relaxed. Oh, are you a little bit tired? I wonder if it's going to regurgitate a pellet for us. Come on. There we go. Did you see there's a pellet that dropped there? How cool is that? So what happens with owls is that they are not like a lot of the other birds. They have a very special sack basically that sits underneath the beak and when they hunt little rodents and various other small mammals and they feed off them and they swallow and it goes into this little crop and from there there's muscles that work the meat and basically what it does is it separates the meat from the fur and from the bones and all that stuff that is difficult to digest from there then the meat goes down into the stomach where it's absorbed into nutrients and into the body but the fur and bones stay in that crop and they then regurgitate it out during the day and so that was what we just saw and it's very uncommon to see that you will not see that every single day so we've been absolutely spoiled to see that that is super super cool I'm so glad that we got to see that that's very cool what I want to actually do is maybe come back here in a few days time because our guy repeater should be walking working and we should be on walk soon and come and see if I can find that pellet in that area and show you just what comes out of this little barred islet in a few days time it will be really cool to see it but that is epic it's not something we're going to see often that's very, very cool. Now, barred owlets 